a display base can help add that extra dimension to your finished model, helping to set the scene and enhance the model that you have created. Join me in this video as I show you how to create a cheap and easy tarmac display base. Hello and welcome to Model Minutes. For those of you who were subscribed in the early days of my channel, you'll remember that I made a video on how to make a display base that depicted a grass field on which to present your models. In that video, I also hinted at the creation of a tarmac version of the base. I did have a number of requests to demonstrate how I created it, so here it is. Firstly, you'll need a photo frame. Please remember the glass can be sharp. Adult supervision may be required. As I've already made the original display base, the glass has been recycled. The first step is to remove the back of the photo frame and take out the picture or blanking sheet that may be in there. In our case, it's the original display piece. Next, cut around this part on some spare card. As you can see, I'm using an old Airfix kit box. This will become the basis of your display base. The next step is to take more card and cut it into rectangles or squares. I'm doing this completely freehand, but for those of you who wish to have something a bit more historically accurate, you could research the size of the tarmac areas you are going to model. Once you've cut out your squares, they can then be glued down onto the cardboard base. Again, I'm not being too neat and tidy, as I intend to give a fairly worn and weathered final appearance. I used a general purpose craft glue, which was simply spread over the surfaces I wished to bond together. When the glue is dried, it is then time to turn the base over and cut any overhangs in line with the original base. This will ensure a nice neat edge. At this stage, I checked that it would fit back into the photo frame, which it did. This check would allow me to correct any issues with the fit before moving on. Next, using Humbrol Acrylic 64 as my tarmac colour, I diluted it with a dash of water and brushed it over the entire surface of the display base. Again, I'm not being particularly neat, as it will help give a slightly textured surface. I applied two coats of this paint, allowing it to dry in between layers. I then took a black pastel and ran it down the joins between the tarmac slabs, and then brushed the pastel dust into the surface in order to give a weathered effect in the joints. As you can see, there are some considerable gaps between the tarmac slabs, but that's intentional, as the next step is to apply some general purpose white craft glue with a paintbrush into those gaps. When enough glue has been applied, the next step is to sprinkle scatter material over the glue. I'm using the fine foam type, which I believe is from Woodland Scenics, but I can't be too sure as it has been left over from previous projects. The base can then be tipped up in order to allow the excess scatter material to fall off. This extra material can then be saved and used on another project. The glue is then left to fully cure, and then the display base can be inserted back inside the photo frame. And here are the finished results. For a little work and using some very low cost materials, I feel that you can achieve quite a convincing base for your models. As always, let me know what you think of my build, techniques and finished base in the comments below. I'm also keen to hear your suggestions as to other how-to and tips videos that you'd like to see me feature on my channel, so feel free to post that too. All that's left to say is thanks for watching this video and don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and click that notification button in order to see more content and help support the channel. And feel free to share this video with your family and friends. Don't forget that you can also connect with me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. See you all again next time.